Good morning, today we'll make a React application that will authenticate in the Firebase and show user info on profile page. I begin by creating a new React application, npx create react app, Firebase, auth, info. Now go to the project folder, cd, Firebase, auth, info. Now make sure you have Firebase CLI installed globally, you install it using npm, i, g, Firebase tools. I already have it installed, so I don't need to install it. Then you will need to run Firebase login. I'm already logged in. And then you can create a new project. Run Firebase init. In this app we might use Firestore. Press space, enter, create new project, frb, auth, info. Enter. Sometimes the errors happen and you need to enable some Firebase functionalities manually. We go to the console, authentication, set up sign in method. We're gonna pick Google. I'm selecting my mail, press save, then press enable, press save. Now go back to the console and install yarn add Firebase and React Router DOM. Now let's create the web application Firebase apps create project frb auth info then pick the web call it frb auth info as well and now run this command that it outputs in the bottom and then redirect the output to src base.js now open the code editor now go to src base.js here you want to remove these comments import Firebase from Firebase. <coughs> now you want to save the initialized app to the app constant and we want to export it. You also want to import the Firebase auth module. Import Firebase auth. Create a new file. It will be an auth page.js. Import React from React. Import app from base export const auth page equals a functional component this component will render a login button that says login now you want to get the google authentication provider const provider equals new firebase auth google auth provider import firebase from firebase and now on click on this button we're gonna call the auth with Google function const auth with Google equals a function. And now inside this method call Firebase auth, it is a function call now. Sign in with pop-up and we pass the provider. Now let's launch the app, yarn start. Go to localhost 3000, press login. It should open the Google login pop-up. Enter the login and password, and then you should end up on your application page again. Now let's define a new state const user set user equals use state, and now we'll use the use effect hook to subscribe to the changes of the auth status. Use effect, and we pass a callback, an empty array for the dependencies, so this effect runs only once when we mount the component. Inside of the callback, we call app auth on auth state changed here we'll get a user in the function arguments and we want to call set user user let's rename the state to current user so we don't have name collisions set current user we change it here as well set current user and now we can add this data to our layout add a paragraph with uh, current user display name and will only render this paragraph if current user exists format the document now if you open the browser we're already authenticated in our app so i see my name here we can also show the email and the avatar go back to the app and we can add some additional fields we're going to add another paragraph with current user email and we can also add an img tag src current user, photo URL, alt, avatar. 
the URL needs to be all caps, so it's for the URL. And uh, width will be 100 and height 100. If you open the page again, you will see your avatar, username and email. To make it more convenient, we can move the user, the current user state, to a context. Let's create a new file, user context .js. Import React from React. Export const user provider equals a functional component. We also need to define the context. Const user context equals React create context. Now inside of this user provider, we return user context provider. We need to accept the children through the props and we render them. Now we can go back to auth page, copy the current user, paste it inside of the user provider, format the document, import use state from React, copy the use effect as well, user context, add use effect, import the use effect as well, format the document, and now we can pass the user as a value. Value equals current user. We need to import app, and now we can remove all this logic from the auth page. We can remove current user, the use effect. We'll move this layout to the main app. And now we'll need to get the current user inside the main app component. Make sure you export the user context. Now go to index.js, wrap your app into user provider, format the document. Now inside of the app.js, we need to get the current user, const current user equals use context, user context, format the document. And if you open the app, everything still works. Thank you for watching. Leave the question about this app in the comments. And if you want to vote for the topics for the next videos, then join my Discord server. See you next time.